Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am still alive. Street rat still alive! I don't know if you guys ever watched, um, what was the name of that again? That's from Aladdin, from the first one. Anyways, I digress. If you are already looking at the thumbnail of this video, you know that this video is going to be about the dreaded ha huh, of having to own a cookbook. Why is cooking important? for women, and honestly, I'm just gonna skip all of the formalities and say that cooking is an important skill for all human life. I'm so sorry, can I edit that out? <laughs> so as you already know, I have been, you know, getting ready to move house, and I'm not gonna talk about that in this video. What I will be talking about is about nutrition and independence and how cooking is linked to the two. There is a lot of talk going on about um, the importance of nutrition and health as it pertains to our lifestyle and lifestyle choices. Things like body positivity and fitness and your overall general female health especially always comes into play when talking about things like food and nutrition. And I wouldn't want to go into the conversation as far as people understanding the importance of food and nutrition from the process, from the, from the viewpoint and perspective of autonomy. All right, this might come as a very big surprise to some people and some people might think of it as, okay, that is an oversight that I actually didn't take into consideration when I said I can't cook or, or I can't cook, but this is definitely something that I think people need to be very, very much aware of, especially if you are a person who is trying to get healthy. Now, outside of those constraints, I'm not looking at the camera when I fix my hair because my hair is a hot mess. Jeez, man. I'm going to try to get this situation sorted out today or tomorrow. But I, I try to take it from the perspective of, okay, people are proud to have the option of being able to not have to cook on a daily basis. This is, this is, uh, this is a sense of liberation and independence that women revere as them taking control of their lives in the utmost way where they're no longer oppressed. Look at that. Like, what is that? Jeez, man. They're no longer oppressed and forced to be in the kitchen. But I would like to offer women and everybody alike that this is a very dumb, that's not a very nice way of saying it. This is a very unwise uh, attitude to have towards your personal health and well-being. What you are really saying when you say I can't cook or I don't need a cookbook is that I am incompetent and out of control when it comes to my health and my ability to follow simple instructions and take care of my health and, and take control of my well-being. That's what you're really saying. Anybody can cook. If you are a person that can read and follow instructions, you can learn to cook. And it is really, really not that hard. Now, I know I have had some huge cooking pull fars in my cooking journey, but there is nothing more liberating and celebratory as to be able to create a meal if you have certain dietary restrictions or constraints that don't allow you to eat whatever, whenever, from wherever. And Cooking and food is one of the main ways that people are being brought under control. And the more autonomy you have around this conversation and this part and element of your life, the easier it will be for you to take control of your overall health and well-being. So I want to encourage people to be very, very careful about how we glorify and relish the incompetence of being able to handle our own nutrition at the very basic level and to start to take more responsibility of that autonomy by learning how to cook. Men and women alike, this is not something that is strictly for women to learn and to be to be in control of. I mean, although it is definitely a way a lot of women have in the past held their own in their relationship because they were the sole 
um, they were the sole person or the solely responsible for what goes into the meal and how meals were being prepared was, was said a lot about the man, women, and children's health based on what it is the woman was cooking in the kitchen. All those things aside, I think it would do a lot of people a great good if they learn how to cook because this is something that is a, a, as a affects directly your overall health and well-being through your nutrition and your nutritional intake. So please, the next time somebody asks you if you can cook, just answer simply with, not yet, I am learning, as opposed to, I don't need a cookbook. I'll see you in the next one, and of course, you know what to do. Please make sure to always stay safe and stay free.